Hey guys, welcome to another info-packed episode of Luthier Quick Tips. Today I'm going to see if it's possible to apply a two-part bar top epoxy as a clear coat on a guitar body. Why? Because I know a lot of you want that bomb-proof, deep, high-gloss shine, but don't necessarily have the spray equipment to apply it. You'd rather be able to brush something on. So let's see if that's going to be possible with a two-part bar top epoxy. The product that I'm gonna be using to coat this guitar body is called Ultra Clear Epoxy, and it's a two-part resin and hardener mix. To mix it up, I'm just going to pour equal parts of the products into a plastic container, and then I'll stir the two together. Now, the manufacturer recommends that you apply this in a temperature of between 75 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit to get the best results. My uh, work area is about 65 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's a good 10 degrees below what they recommend. However, I found I had no issues applying the epoxy at that temperature, and I really think that it's uh, most temperature sensitive when you're trying to pour large amounts over a large area like a, a tabletop. So I didn't have that much issue with uh, a smaller guitar body. Now, when you're using this product, I recommend you wear gloves, of course. Uh, this is a sticky, messy stuff, and you want to make sure that you keep it off your fingers. And I also recommend putting down some paper uh, in the area where you're going to be mixing it, and then underneath where you're going to be applying it to the guitar body. The manufacturer recommends that you stir the two components together for five minutes to make sure they get thoroughly mixed together. And then instead of pouring it onto the surface, which I was afraid would fill the pickup cavities, the neck cavity and the control cavity and such, I decided to apply it with a foam brush. And later on in this video, I also used a bristle brush, and I found that the two work pretty much the same. So the first coat that I'm going to apply has to be spread on fairly thin. It's going to be kind of like a seal coat or a primer coat. And I'll, I brushed it on and spread it out as thin as I could and then let it soak in. Now, this stuff has a really long working time, so you don't have to rush it. You've got a good probably two to three hours before it starts to set up. So even though I've sped up the footage here, that's just to keep you from getting bored, uh, I was able to get this coated without any issues whatsoever. You need to apply some heat to the surface to pop the air bubbles that get trapped in the epoxy. And at first I used a heat gun, but this isn't the best way to do it because not only are you applying heat, but you're blowing it onto the surface. And with this resin, it gets the viscosity gets thinned when heat is applied. So if you're using a gun blowing air, that heat and air will have a tendency to cause your epoxy to kind of splatter around. So I think it's better probably to use a propane torch for this, which is what I will use later on. Next, once I had everything coated and the, the heat applied, I clamped it to my workbench with the top of the guitar facing up. And the plan here is to rotate it about every 15 minutes until it starts to set up. This will help prevent the epoxy from running and sagging and dripping. During the uh, first hour, you have the opportunity to do any little touch-ups if necessary. For example, if you see any dust uh, or lint spots or bubbles. But uh, I ended up, as I said, flipping the body every 15 minutes for about two hours. And then really after about 90 minutes, it had set up. And then six hours later, it had fully cured to the point where I could apply the second coat. And the second coat, I'm applying with a bristle brush, which, as I said, doesn't really um, make much difference whether you use a bristle brush or a foam brush. They work about the same. But I am applying it a little bit thicker here. And this is to help quickly build up a 
film thickness that's sufficient to allow for level sanding later on. And you know, what I was hoping with this product is that after uh, applying it and during that first couple of hours as it's starting to set up, that it would flow out and level nicely. And it, it flows out okay. It's not too bad as you can see here, but I knew that because of how hard epoxy is, it's going to be a real challenge to level sand this later on. After the second coat had dried for about six hours, I decided to level sand the surface with some 220 grit just to see if that would make any difference. And I don't know in the end if it really did. But then I went ahead and applied a third coat exactly as I did that second coat, a little bit heavier and um, brushed on with a bristle brush. And then, of course, uh, once I had thoroughly coated the body, I flipped it every 15 minutes for that first uh, 90 minutes to two hours to keep it from starting to run, drip, and sag. This time, however, I used a propane torch, which works much better for popping those little air bubbles. As with the second coat, it took about six hours to dry to a touch, and then I let it sit for an additional week to fully cure, which is what the manufacturer recommends. Then I proceeded with level sanding, and boy, let me tell you, that was a chore. I ended up sanding from 240 grit all the way up to 1500, and then upon closer inspection, I noticed that there were some pinholes where I probably didn't torch the surface as thoroughly as I should have. And finally, I took the guitar to the buffing machine and buffed out the epoxy clear coat. I used my normal buffing process, and I'd probably have to tweak it a little bit uh, for this type of a finish. But overall, it, it did the job. All right, so bottom line, is this a viable option for clear coating a guitar? <sighs> if all you're going to do is build one guitar, or maybe just an occasional guitar, and you want a bomb-proof, deep, high-gloss shine, but you don't have the equipment to spray a finish, I certainly think it's something that you could consider. You just have to be aware of the somewhat funky manner in which you apply the product, and also know that it's going to take a lot of work to level sand it and get it ready for buffing it out. However, you know, if you're not uh, in any big hurry, I, I think it's probably a, a, an option you could consider. However, if you're in a production setting and you build a lot of guitars, this is not the approach you would want to take. In fact, this will be the only guitar body that I ever put this stuff on. I'll never clear coat a guitar with a bar top epoxy resin only because I have spray equipment, I have a buffing machine, and I can apply other finishes that are so much easier to use. So in the end, I hope you found this video to be uh, interesting maybe and, and potentially inspiring. I think if you're going to uh, adopt this approach or attempt it, you definitely are going to want to test on scrap to get a feel for how it's going to work. Don't commit to your guitar body, otherwise you might be disappointed or frustrated. So uh, in the end, um, uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Be sure to subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, here's a couple of videos that you, from my channel that you might find interesting in the uh, realm of guitar building and repair. And until the next episode, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.